Hi, my name is Jessica, and I am back, and I plan to open the ultimate Seven Sister Pack from The Little Mermaid, from the live-action Little Mermaid. I've been looking forward to this set so much, and I've been patiently waiting, and I have it. So I want to unbox it with you and go over these girls and compare them to our classic Ariel Mermaid. If you enjoy my content, please like, follow, share, subscribe, all of that. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you the packaging first. Here's Ariel with all of her sisters. I really love the details in their fins and the textures that they have fabric tops and they just look so beautiful together. I've never had such a variety of mermaids ever. So this is just an amazing piece to add to a collector's collection. Let's get them out the box. Oh, I gotta take it in. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. I can't take it. Okay. So I also purchased something else. The Little Mermaid Guide to Merma Merfolk by, let me get his name, let me get the author's name. I gotta give props to the author, Eric Guerin. And this has been my resource to learn a little bit more about the sisters, about mermaid folklore, and I am on page 62. So in the back of this book, there's a little bit more about Ariel and each individual sister. So I'm not there yet, and I don't want to give anybody spoilers, but there's a sheet in here that shows me Ariel, her sisters, and their names. So no spoilers, just the girls. This is Tamika, Mala, Karina, Ariel, Perla, and Dira and Caspia. These dolls are so pretty out of the package. Like they're pretty in the package, but they're out of the package. They just look so sweet together. Let me show you just how they look just laying out. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Just mermaid vibes. So I don't know their ages. Um, I do know that some of them are, I think Mala is the oldest and this is Mala. And I didn't untie, unclip her hair back here. There's still some rubber bands around her hair. Let me cut that. I have been trying to get a little bit more insight and in learning more about this new um, reimagination of reimagining of uh, the Little Mermaid. I'm trying to get to know her sisters a little bit better. And I began reading The Little Mermaid Against the Tide because this is a prequel to The Little Mermaid. So I don't want to spoil the actual film which is here the live action novelization i haven't read that but i do have it but i have been reading this which is a treat and i have been able to get a vibe of the sisters and their relationships and how they interact with ariel and i got some more reading to do but i don't want to say too much so since i'm holding mala i'll start with her and she is beautiful. All of these dolls have a really realistic um, face paint that looks like the actresses portraying the roles. And I'm not sure who each actress is. I'm not even about to. But here's Mala. She has this beautiful face. Oh, she's so beautiful. And she has black long hair that goes down to her butt cheeks. Oh, I'm sorry, to her bottom. Uh, she has a pink crown that looks like a coral texture and that's attached to her head, which is removable. And she, the this set has removable tops. So Mala has a ruffle here and below her top here. The top of her fin is transparent. She can bend, she can turn her head. She can move her arms. And she can bend her tail at the waist and at the knee area. The knee area. I'm going to call it the knee. We know it's not a knee, but I'm going to call it the knee. And she can bend there. And her fins are a fabric 
with this beautiful ombre design like a sunset so she's giving me tropical fish oh i just love it <laughs> i love these dolls so much but that is mala and the back of this dress attaches the back of her top attaches with velcro the next girl i'm gonna pick up is caspia here's caspia's full body she has her face pink there and she has a pink eyeshadow her eyebrows are a natural light brown and her hair is this very soft pink the, my fantasy i'm just living my childhood dreams i'm so happy i'm a doll collector and i'm so happy i'm alive to see this movie here is her top she doesn't have any ruffles but she does have some texture like it's very metallic and shiny and it attaches with velcro in the back she does not have the upper fin like mala does this transparent fin here she does not have that but she is printed all the way down she has her fabric fin she has the same articulation as mala and the other girls so i'll bend her at the waist and bend her at the knee and that can twist a little bit too it has a lot better articulation than our classic Ariel here, our classic mermaid Ariel. That is Caspia. This is Karina. You know, I might be wrong. I'm not sure who the oldest is. It might be Karina, it might be Mala. I'm not gonna say too much because I might be wrong. So here is Karina and she has this sweet, soft purple hair and her lovely face she's so pretty she has this sweet sweet little cute swoop there i love that that little swoopy bang and she does not have a fin here either her she gives me a very cold feel she makes me feel like icy icy with that dark blue and a light blue each girl each uh, daughter represents the seven seas and this is Karina. There is no detailing on the back of the fins for the mermaids. Here's the back of Mala. And here's the back of Caspia. And there she bends. I have Indira. I should know this actress's name, and I'm sorry, I don't. But here she is. This is one of my favorites out of this set. This doll is so beautiful, and the actress is beautiful. All of the actresses they chose for this film, they just did such an amazing job with just so many different cultures involved. I'm really excited to see this film. I'm going to stop saying that. I'm going to stop saying it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But here is Indira. She has brown hair with light blonde highlights maybe it's supposed to be gold to me it's giving blonde golden highlights or and she has she's giving me tropical fish she's giving me summer fish with her gold top she only has one sleeve and it attaches with velcro in the back i really love the designs here's at the bottom of her fin she doesn't have the upper fin either i like the detail they put in each dog making sure they're accurate and individual None of these dolls really look as if they were um, mass produced in a way to where they're just like, oh, different face paint, same body, same body. Each doll is unique to the character. And this is Indira, I believe of the Indian Ocean, or the, I'm, I'm not going to say because I'm probably wrong. I love her design. <laughs> Here is Perla. Her hair is teal and black, and it's in a pony, but the pony looks like it should be like a fishtail braid in the back, but there's two individual twists and connected together at a rub by a rubber band at the end, and I believe if you took her hair down, it would be a lot longer than our other mermaids, but her hair does reach her bottom. Her top is strapless. And it's a soft red or maybe a blush red. And it's attached with Velcro in the back. Perla does have a blue transparent fin here. Or the top of her fin. Um, the top of her tail design is transparent and blue. And she has that very same articulation. 
She has spot white spots along her tail and these gorgeous fins. Each shape is a little different with the girls. And that's Perla. Another beauty. Oh, she's got hair net on. This is Tamika. Let me um, take her hair net off. Oh, these curls. This texture. Oh, yes. Mattel did an amazing job with these dolls. I'm really proud and just... I'm really happy to have this and own this collection. She has so much beautiful hair. And she has a, this hair piece is removable. Here's her face. She's got on a little bit more makeup than the other girls. She has a silverish, no, that's a greenish blue eyeshadow. And that's Tamika. I think Tamika's the oldest. You know what? I'm going to shut up. I don't know who's the oldest, guys. I don't, I don't know who's the oldest. But here is her top. And it's a um, high collar at the neck, it seems. It's sleeveless. It's got a pointed piece here that anchors down to her waist. And it attaches with Velcro in the back. And these colors are just fantastic. Just gorgeous. Look at her fins. She's tropical fish. She's fire fish. That's just so beautiful. I love that wild variation. And her hair texture. I have very few dolls with this hair texture, believe it or not. They need to do that a lot more. It's so soft and beautiful. All of them have very soft, nice hair. And here is Ariel. This is my favorite Ariel that has been released so far. And in comparison, her comparison to the classic Ariel. Look at that fin. <sighs> Here's her face. She does have the same face mold as this doll. And unlike her sisters, I feel like her sisters have a lot more of a realistic face paint. In comparison, that does make her stand out a little bit more to me. But this doll is so pretty. And she does resemble Holly. So I guess they just said, don't mess up a good thing. Just leave it be. Her top is removable. It's strapless. And it has a ruffle at the top. It's like a very soft pink ruffle. I got this at the kitty section. I don't know if I told y'all that already. But yeah. Yeah. She does have a transparent fin here. <laughs> her head moves. And her arms have articulation. She bends at the waist and at the knee. Her fin is actually a lot more detailed than the other girls. Let's be real, Ariel has the best fin in the movie. She has the best. I did feel like she was a little bit uh, lackluster. I don't want to use the word lackluster, but a little bit more basic than the other girls with such wild patterns. But being true to the Little Mermaid and being true to Ariel, this is it. And this fin is beautiful. I think Mattel captured it best. In this form and here. I think these are beautiful fins. So yeah, there's this tool layer here. And then there's this dramatic detailed area here. And it's so soft, but there's nothing in the back. Nothing. So unlike the classic Ariel doll we have here, they have the same mold, but Ariel does not have the molded top. She has the fabric top. This upper fin is transparent compared to this one, which is the solid green, that's like the bottom of her fin. This is a lot more detailed. And we have a lot more articulation, and I think we even have a little bit more sheen to this tail, but the articulation is a lot better in the fin. Cause you could turn it to the side a little bit, and we got that flap in motion. I've been waiting forever for this doll to come out. 
So this is my favorite. I hope you enjoyed this review. I have more coming for you from, from Mermaid. I have a lot more Ariel stuff that I'm going to unbox. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out for my content. I hope this was helpful. I do plan on keeping this because I'm going to display my girls in there somehow. Check out my froggy stuff. Like she had a really nice video of how she did her decor and how she set up her backdrop for her mermaids. It was pretty neat. I don't think I can do that, but I'll figure something out. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Jessica. This is Dollhouse and I'll see you soon. Peace.